Hey, what is going on guys, name's Free. welcome back to another Dragon Ball Z Dokkan battle video. And this is our latest summon or not, nah. and if you're new to the channel not familiar with what this is, this is basically me talking about the units on the banner, maybe the rates, you know, the specific circumstance around the banner, and whether or not it is something that you, yes you, and of course, people that are trying to be conscious of stone expenditure, should summon on a banner with. So anyway, so hope you guys enjoy it. Subscribe if you are new. Now let's go ahead and take a look at both of the 200 million downloads reached banners. They are both ticket banners. Long story short, TLDR, I'm gonna go ahead and start off by saying you should probably avoid these banners, okay? And let me be completely frank with you guys. You guys, if you, okay, so if you've been here a while, you know I'm just honest. I, I don't sugarcoat, I don't BS. I'm sorry, I'm just honest. And I'm gonna be frank. These are not good banners. They are enticing. They look good. The art is beautiful. There's a whole bunch of incredible units that are there. But these are not, and I repeat, not good banners for you to summon on, especially if you are free to play. And, of course, you have a, a limited number of stones. If you're a paying player, it's not that big of a deal. I still wouldn't do it because I'm a paying player. And I'm like, yeah, sorry. No, I, don't, I don't care. I even if I didn't have these units, I still wouldn't go for it. I'd just wait because there are always going to be better opportunities. Um, so I will say these are not good banners. And let's talk about why, right? It does not matter if you get lucky. Let me say that now because I already know I'm going to get, well, you say they're not good, but I pulled 15 god leads. Good for you, right? Good for you. I'm happy for you. That does not make this a good banner. That just makes you lucky. You got lucky. Good. So... Now that that's out of the way, now that I've gone ahead and cited my premise, what makes the banners bad banners? So, outright, I think that this is the JP one, right? JP's banner has a 10% rate, pretty much. So, round up 10% rate, basically getting an SR or SSR every $25 or 50 stones. So, pretty much every multi you should be getting one unless you get unlucky. That's pretty much law of averages there. Now, Traditional banners do not have featured card rates like this. 0 0.225, that's a decimal off from being LR rates. $1,000 per unit on average per individual pulls of these units. This is how lucky you have to get. 1239, 1250, 1260. This is how much these units are worth on this banner. This is why this is a trap banner because these units are all here. They're all the god leads. Literally every single one of these units, I feel like there's a few that they're missing. Uh, I think Gogeta's missing, Intelligence Gogeta, I think Kid Boo's missing. So these are the rates for them. Like, for example, for context, I did a multi on one of my alternates. It pulled like three or four of these guys. That doesn't diminish the fact that their rates are abysmal. Okay? Let's take a look at the other 200 million banner. It's the same thing. This one has higher rates though, 11%. But see, this stuff is manipulatable because it could be the roller uh, basically just being off, but it's about a five stone difference. So it's just, once again, it could have, maybe the roller went through a hot streak or whatever the case is, which got like really lucky, but the rates are still pretty much the same, man. 900 bucks per average for one Beerus. 900 bucks per average for one, you see what the point is, right? And once again, if you get lucky, great. My general verdict would be I would probably spend a couple of stones on it. But here's the trap. We know that Gogeta and Omega are coming around the corner. Now, I will say about that, there was an image of like banner art for JP. Apparently, that could be falsified. So take it with a grain of salt. That may not have been the official art. But either way, they are coming on the third or the fourth. So first and foremost, that is where this is firstly a trap. <laughs> I didn't bother to do one on the rebirth banner. I think it's gone now on JP. And my general stance on that doesn't change, right? Even if the LRs are in the banners, they are still trap banners. They are still trap banners and not good banners. They're filled with overwhelmingly bad units, old units. Maybe you need some of those units and that justifies some of the expenditure of stones on those banners, but that does not make them good banners. Um, So... Because what what the thing is like with some of those banners, it hasn't hit global yet, but Bandai feels like they can throw, or the Akatsuki, the, the developers of the Dokkan game, uh, no, no Naruto reference. They feel like they can throw these summonable LRs in there with abysmal rates and that 
basically will flock to it. And unfortunately, that is what happens. Even though those are not good banners, it's not a good chance to pull them. If you get lucky and you get one, great. I've done it several times. Dino's done it. Nano finally started doing it. Um, and it is what it is. But they're not good. And, you know, I will say what classifies a banner as good is a banner like Kali Flynn Kales, which unfortunately I've been really inconsistent with this series as I think about it. Um, I didn't do it for that, but that is like a guaranteed SSR banner. The physical Kaioken Goku is a good banner, guaranteed SSR, and the cards are not super crappy. They're they're pretty solid cards. But this is filled with good cards, but it's a trap because once again, we know what is coming, and a lot of these units will be available again on those banners. If not all of these units, not all of them, I won't say that, but majority, more than half, will probably probably be featured on those two banners um coming up, right? I feel like that's a safe assumption a good chunk of them will be. And last little point, if you're a paying player, they know that they've got you in the hooks because they purposely opened up this banner directly after a certain amount of time passed, right? And they also opened up the sale discount stones when this banner goes up. So their hope is that you will... And it's not anything bad about Dokkan specifically. This is just how all of these types of games are run. Naruto Blazing, Brave X, all these games have different little gimmicks, but they're designed to make you pay as much as possible, right? So they open up the stone discounts, and they're not bad discounts, I guess, but keep in mind those same stone discounts will not reset as part of this 200 million download celebration. If you use all your discounts, you're going to be paying full price for stones uh, for Gogeta. That's primarily what those are for, right? They're for Gogeta's banner, but they open them up for this as well. So obviously their hope is that you'll say, oh my God, this beautiful banner, beautiful art. I want Vegito Blue and Rosé, this rainbow text, all these beautiful units. And okay, let me buy some stones. Oh wait, the discounts are here. Oh, I can get 90 stones at a discount 10 times? Let's do that. And it's like, oh wait, I didn't know Omega was coming. Or maybe you did. Or maybe you forgot. Maybe you didn't know Omega or SS4 was coming. It's like, oh, these guys are here. But damn it, I used all my discount. Don't fall into the trap. Don't fall into the trap, guys. Do not fall into the trap. Let me show you guys a couple more examples. We'll get out of here. Uh, which, once again, I don't want to. I don't want to put any or let anybody down if they once again pulled good things on these banners, right? I did it myself. Like I said, I pulled three SSRs and one multi on an alternate, and I'm like, oh, okay, that's cool. But you still have to function under the general reasoning that these are not good quote up banners or investment banners because other stuff will always come. These other units will always be available. So this is a double rate banner um, or it's improved rate. I don't know whether it's double or improved, but the rates were really high, 17%. So it's not the best example because you're getting an SSR. Uh, I think it was a double rate banner actually, but either way. Look at the average right here, $120. You may think this is a lot of money on average, but it's not. It's not a lot of money for, it is a lot of money just in general. Real world money, yes it is. But for an average per SSR unit, understand that these are rollers. This, this you have to be lucky, right? You may get these cards first single, first multi, whatever, but this is kind of normal, right? And this is the the way that the game is able to function. Let's look at the Broly Festival here. Um, Broly on average costs 339 bucks to pull, 0.728 rate for summoning. And that's kind of average. 300 bucks is an average for one of those featured SSR units. So understand what you're getting yourself into in the game. Last little bit, I want to take a look at LR Gohan, Broly, and uh, Vegeta. And I think Goku Black. They're all on that banner, which I don't see here, unfortunately. But they're also on this banner. Never mind. They, they should be here. Um, but they were not featured up there. TLM did not put them in that section. So they're in here somewhere. Oh, here's one. Vegeta. All right. 0 0.041 rate for summon. $6,000 on average if you pull this guy from that banner. See what I mean? <laughs> See what I mean? You have just about the Broly. Here he is. Same exact rate for all of these garbage cards, or some of these are decent, like this Trunks is decent, Bardock is okay. You know, all these other SSRs have the exact same summon rate. So once again, I'm just here to educate, just trying to help help everybody make informed decisions whether you pay in the game or not. If you pay, I, I you know, I will say that if you're if you pay, you're probably at more of a risk, and this is probably more pertinent information for you. 
than it is a free to play player. And my judgment on that is it's very easy to sit there and justify spending two hundred, three hundred, four hundred dollars in one sitting on this game, right? Whereas a free to play player, they may not get what they want, but they're not out of any real world money. So keep that in mind too. I don't pay shame and I hate pay shamers. It's like, oh, you shouldn't pay on your stupid game. Well, understand you never get free stones. You wouldn't be able to play the game if there weren't for paying players and all these other things. If people want to spend money on their hobbies, let them do that and do not say anything about it because it's not your place to speak on what people do with their hard earned cash. But once again, I just want to say that, you know, everybody's situation is a little bit different in these games and their accounts and all that stuff. So do what is best for you. I can only give you guys my general opinion, and I would hope that a lot of you guys would operate under the assumption that you're going to try to pull for the next two top-tier units to come into the game. So anyways, have an awesome day. Thank you for the continued support. That Dragonstone swinging up there is going to drive me nuts. <laughs> All right, I'll catch you guys later. Peace out, guys.